Hello, hello, hello. Have you guys been looking for me? Well, guess what? You found me in the kitchen with Angela Creole Roots. 47, I'm here in my kitchen again. This is Saturday afternoon. We're meal prepping. Yes, we're meal prepping. All things New Orleans, come on in my kitchen. Come on in my kitchen. Today is a meatball day again. Yes, I got an order today. Someone wanted some meatballs. Well, their husband and... It was too many ingredients for her to deal with. So of course my neighbor hit me up and I'm back in my kitchen. We're doing Swedish meatballs today. Yes, New Orleans style. You know I'm going New Orleans girl. I'm gonna do everything New Orleans style. So I have my ground beef here. Okay. Yes, I'm only using half of this though because it calls for one pound. Okay, and it's only two of them. So then I'm gonna use some ground pork sausage right here. And I'm gonna use half of that as well. So we're gonna do a blend, a mix of pork sausage and ground beef, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start by adding everything in my bowl. You can invite others to check out my channel and whatever I don't use, I can save for another day, of course, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and start my process with my ground beef. Adding that ground beef in a bowl. We're gonna be baking this. And this is sweetest meatballs. Remember I told you there's all types of meatballs. You can do party meatballs. You can do barbecue meatballs, spicy meatballs, teriyaki meatballs, all types of ways. But today I decided we're gonna do his recipe and do Swedish meatballs. So come on in my kitchen, you guys. Subscribe to my channel, like my channel, invite others to my channel. You can check me out on Instagram and Facebook. So I'm adding about a half, a little bit more of this ground pork sausage, okay? And like I said, what I don't use, I'm gonna store in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. I always have some type of order or something, somebody just hits me up and you gotta be ready so you won't have to get ready, right? <laughs> yeah, well, you're in the kitchen with Angela. I can whip something together in 30 to 40 minutes without a blank, yeah. So I push that to the side. You see, I already have some things going on, washed and pre-washed. That's mustard greens, turnip greens, and collard greens. We're going to hook that up and maybe in the next video, okay? So I'm just getting my meats all blended together. Like I said, this is ground pork sausage and ground turkey for our Swedish meatballs, okay? So... All meatballs have about the same flavor and whatnot, except for whatever type of ingredients you use. Today, I am getting down in here and we're making a white sauce as well. So you're gonna see that. I'm adding some ground or granulated garlic. Okay, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of allspice. Okay, and then I'm going to add salt and pepper. Okay, I'm out of this salt. I might have to get some more salt, but I do have salt. Let me get that good seasoning out the way. I'll add a little bit more salt. We're going to do black pepper. Okay, so I'll get right back to you. I need to get some salt. Okay, so I'm back, you guys. I'm adding that teaspoon of salt in there. Okay, I didn't realize I ran out. <clears throat> so, okay, well, now remember when I use seasonings, what happened? I cough and or sneeze. But I guess it didn't want to come out today, so hoopla. Okay, so we're going to add some soy sauce, okay? Just a couple of dashes, not too many. 
we're going to be adding some sweet yellow onion, all chopped up already. I pre-cut my onion. Okay, I'm going to be adding some celery. And of course, we're going to be adding some bell pepper. I pre-cut this stuff up. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I couldn't close my celery. Okay, so then we're gonna add one egg. All right, that's my one egg. I'll put that to the side right here. We have some, we have three fourths of a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, they're seasoned, okay? So then I'm gonna add a little bit of water, gonna add some milk as well. So I have my milk. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs. Okay, so this is my mixture. Let me get that down up in there. I may add some Creole seasoning. I'll see what we're working with. <laughs> and then, after I start rolling these meatballs, I think I'm gonna add a little Creole seasoning too. I want my stuff to have flavor. And uh, I'm never wrong when it comes to food. I get it done. Of course, yeah, I can mess up things. All uh, chefs, anyone can mess up a dish, but then you gotta start over and get it done again. So, I had that all spice in there. It was about a half a teaspoon. And uh, I'm gonna add some Creole seasoning. Of course, you know I have the Holy Trinity. You know I have to have that, right? So I have the Holy Trinity in there. If you're asking what the Holy Trinity is, you're not <coughs> from New Orleans. <coughs> the seasoning here. <coughs> you're not from New Orleans. You're just joining my channel. The Holy Trinity <coughs> for us is <coughs> bell pepper, onion, and celery. Okay? <coughs> so... I'm gonna start rolling my meatballs. <clears throat> I added the salt and pepper, but I felt like I needed more, a little more seasoning. I know this is Swedish and some people just don't use <clears throat> uh, extras, but I want flavor <clears throat> in my meatballs. Like I said, this is Swedish, so it's not going to be so overloaded with spice you actually want them to have flavor but you want it also to taste like it's supposed to if it's Swedish then you want it to taste like Swedish meatballs but a little blend or a twist of what you like to add. You can add a little bit extra seasonings, okay? <clears throat> the other thing is, uh, when you're doing recipes, I keep telling you, recipes can be turned into what you like. <clears throat> and it shouldn't be a problem. If it's your taste buds and what you're used to, then it, <coughs> it really shouldn't be a problem, okay? So I'm just putting my meatballs and stuff together. And uh, these are gonna be good. So the sauce, I'm gonna be creating a sauce once we put the meatballs in the oven, okay? <clears throat> and you know how I like to do it. Once I do my meatballs, I have to have them drained off. So I'm going to add water to the bottom of the pan <clears throat> so I can drain off the elements of the fat that's rendering from 
the meat. You don't want that greasy, nasty clumps of uh, grease in your sauce because this sauce is not gonna be, it's not gonna be a, a brown sauce. It's not gonna be a white sauce. I mean, it's not gonna be a, a red sauce. It's gonna be a white sauce, basically. Swedish meatballs come with a white sauce, okay? So, just getting my vegetables all up in here. I'm trying to make all my meatballs uniform in size. <clears throat> but this is a great way to do your meatball dish. Blending all your spices and stuff together. And we're going to do the sauce while the meatballs in the oven. I already have my oven on uh, 350. And we're going to cook the meatballs until they're brown. <clears throat> I say about 30 to 40 minutes. And you know they're going to be cooked again in the sauce. So... You don't want to overcook them, but you want them to form in the oven. Okay, so I'm just doing meatballs today in the kitchen with Angela. What you guys are doing or planning, okay? What are you doing? What are you planning? So it's always good to meal prep. It saves you on money. Lunch can be very expensive on a day to day. You leave the office to go to lunch, have a lunch packed, you know, have it packed and you can heat it up in the microwave at work. And then if you feel like going to your car, go to your car. But try to prepare, prepare things that is going to be easy on your pocket, you know. So I'm getting it in here. You have to have patience. You have to love to cook. And if you're not a cook at hand or you just don't love to cook, you don't have that knack for cooking, then what you can do is prep in advance. Make your meals easy, something you can deal with, a recipe that you know for sure you can follow that won't take very long. You can do 20-minute meals. You can do 30 minute meals. You can do meals that's in a crock pot that you don't have to deal with. Just put them in a crock pot and go. You can put your food in the oven and let that go. It's all up to you. The plan is up to you, it's for you. You know, it benefits you. This one needs a little bit more Marie. I'm Marie. Source that one. Yeah. We got these meatballs ready. Just adding it in. These are going to have nice good flavor too because I have my Holy Trinity in there. We use allspice. You know, onion, bell pepper, celery, parsley. The, the, uh, Breadcrumbs were seasoned as well. So we have some nice uniform balls. Let me just wash my hands up. Okay, so the balls are nice and uniformed, okay? And then I'm going to sprinkle a little allspice on each meatball, just for a little added flavor. That's going to bring it out. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add the water to the bottom of the pan. Just some water to the bottom of the pan. Not a lot. <clears throat> it's going to soak up. Here they go. Nice rounded meatballs. You see that? Really good. I'm putting them in the oven. Okay. 
they're gonna cook about 30 minutes, okay? So then we're gonna get into the sauce, all right? So just follow me over here, come join me at the stove, you guys, okay? And then we're gonna start the sauce. For this sauce, this is Swedish meatballs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this sauce started. And I'm heating up my pan. I need my spoon. I love these wooden spoons. I know people say that they hold bacteria, but if you clean stuff right, you're good. And I don't like my pans to get scratched up. And wood goes well with these nonstick pans. So I have my sticks of butter here. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna also use, uh, let's see, all-purpose flour. I have some over there. And if you're worried about the, if you're worried about gluten or anything, or if you're worried about, if you're worried about the carbs and flour, then use cornstarch, okay? That's much easier on the body. But this recipe, he's not worrying about that. He just wants what he wants and he wants it right, right? So we're gonna be using Dijon mustard. <clears throat> We're gonna be using some flour, okay? I have two tablespoons of butter, a little bit over. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of uh, flour. Let me get my flour, you guys. And it's gonna be two tablespoons of flour. And I was about right almost. Getting that stirred up. Okay. What we're doing is we're making sure the flour and the butter mix together because you don't want your roux to have that floury taste, right? So I'm gonna add in some seasoning I pulled that off because it's a little hot. Okay. I'm gonna add in some beef stock. Just put this because it's browning and I don't want it to brown. So I'm gonna add in some beef stock. We're gonna be adding in some heavy cream and some Dijon mustard, okay? So I'm gonna do about one and a third cup. I think, get that in there. So I'm gonna add about a one and a third cup of beef stock. Beef stock versus broth actually makes your roux or your sauce thicker. So about a one and a third cup, okay. Then we're gonna be adding heavy cream in there. I have my Dijon mustard. <clears throat> okay, I added a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, okay? And then I'm gonna add in with this, I'm gonna add some soy sauce. It's gonna be about three teaspoons. Okay. And then I'm gonna add in my heavy cream. Okay, so you see that sauce is coming together and if I need to add anything extra, trust me, I will. I would like to pull this off and then I'm gonna pour in my milk. 
it's heavy cream you guys and that I'm gonna pour that in okay all right so we're gonna let this start coming back this is about two-thirds of heavy cream okay we have that Dijon mustard two-thirds of the heavy cream a cup and a half a cup and a third about the beef stock we have two tablespoons of uh, butter okay I added a little seasoning three teaspoons of soy sauce you know and that one teaspoon rich that was actually yeah that was one teaspoon so it wasn't the half so one teaspoon of butter I mean Dijon it's mustard I'm sorry I'm getting all confused you guys I'm gonna do a taste and see how I like it Let this sauce come to a boil, a slow rolling ball. But I'm gonna add some bay leaf in here because I know everything needs bay leaf when it comes to a sauce. I'm gonna add two of them in there, okay? So this sauce is for the meatballs. You see that heavy cream sauce? So it was very simple to make. You can add a little red wine in here if you want. Uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. You can add red wine. You can add dry white wine in this. Add a little garlic in there. I'm going to do a tasting and see if I need anything extra. I did add some of my Creole seasoning for this sauce. And this is basically finished in a few. And uh, we're going to pour this over the meatballs once the meatballs are ready. That's it. But see, this is Swedish meatballs, so it needs a little more seasoning to me. The flavors are not quite where I need it to be. Okay, so... I just wanted to have a burst of flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit more Dijon mustard. Okay, I'm gonna add a little parsley. And I'm gonna basically let this simmer. A little salt and pepper too, I think, and a little garlic. So this is about a half teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add a half teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to add some garlic, okay, you guys? So I need flavor when I'm cooking. So my friend husband, he came up with a recipe. And like I said, it was too much. She didn't want to be bothered with it. So she hit me up. And of course, I was able to oblige them. Like I said... Always be ready so you don't have to get ready, right? So, this is going to go on low. This is the sauce for it. We're going to taste it again to see where we at with that seasoning. Okay, you got to get a new spoon. Don't use the same one. So, I'm going to taste a little bit and see what I'm liking. Now that's way better. It needed my touch. New Orleans flair. You know you heard me. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. Win a win a chicken dinner. So this has come together. What we did was we used some heavy whipping cream. That's gonna make our sauce. We use two tablespoons of all purpose flour. We also used some two tablespoons of butter, a little bit over. Soy sauce. We used Dijon mustard. And of course, you know I added some extra things in there. But this is going to be a great, great sauce. I think they'll like it. Once the meatballs are done, 
I can show you the finishing touches. So we're gonna go ahead and let the meatballs finish cooking up. And once I have the dish all ready for you, then I'll come back to you guys and show you the finishing touches. So it's gonna take the meatballs a little bit more time because I put them on 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. So the sauce is simmering. I'm gonna put it on low for now and let it cook for a while. And then I'll show you the finishing touches and we'll end this video once the meatballs come out the, the oven and we add the sauce to it. This is the Swedish meatball recipe. Okay, you see that delicious sauce? Okay. And uh, you can add this on top of noodles, pasta of your choice. Me, I would do a big pasta, something like an egg noodle pasta or something. You can add a little sour cream in your dish. That's what I should have did, but I didn't think about it. But that's okay. We have the whip, the whipping cream. So this is a good recipe uh, for a couple of days for two people. Good Sunday meal or even during the week. Okay. So there you have it. I'll get back to you guys in a moment once I put the sauce and the meatballs together. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So you guys. It's been about that time, 30 to 40 minutes to pull out my meatballs. And I'm gonna do that, okay? So these are the finished meatballs right here. Nice and brown, very beautiful. And I'm going to remove them from the original tray away from the oil and water mixture, okay? So I'm just gonna take a slotted spoon and I'm gonna add the meatballs in over here, okay? So these are Swedish meatballs. You can fix them with rice. You can fix them with red gravy. You can fix them with brown gravy. But make what makes them Swedish is the white sauce, okay? So we have these meatballs here. They're prepared already. And I'm just transferring them over into another pan out of the oil mixture that comes off of the meatballs. You know what I'm saying? How you get that fat. You don't want that in your sauce. So I'm pulling them off and I'm putting them into another pan. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. These aluminum pans, they're not really hot when you pull them out the oven, so it doesn't bother me. That's why I'm touching them. And I'm used to touching hot food, so I wouldn't suggest you do what I'm doing. Uh, but I love to cook. I love to get down in the kitchen. These meatballs came out perfect. And here's my sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them over the meatballs. Let me see if you guys can see it better. You don't need to see me. It's about the meatballs and the sauce, right? So I'm just pouring the sauce over the meatballs. These are Swedish meatballs, you guys. This is a white cream-based sauce. Load it with good, good. Okay, so I'm gonna get that over here. Let them soak up all the juices. <clears throat> I'm gonna put them back in the oven a little bit, I guess, so they can do it, you know, when they're ready. So I don't really have to because the meatballs are basically ready, okay? So, there you have it. These are my Swedish meatballs right here in the sauce. And then you can go ahead and sprinkle some parsley flakes over them. 
and some paprika to make them pretty. This is garnish. Just garnish them, the, each meatball, top of the sauce. And you can even add Parmesan cheese, you know. I'm gonna add some regular paprika. This is not smoked. It's just a ground pa paprika. Give it some nice color, but it also helps with flavor too. So there you have it. My version of Swedish meatballs, New Orleans style. Okay, so thank you so much for joining my channel. You can go ahead, subscribe to my channel, YouTube, of course. Uh, you can go to Instagram and watch me on Instagram. And you can also watch me on Facebook. So this is In the Kitchen with Angela, your Creole Roots 47 girl. Join me, join me, join me, invite others, like, comment, subscribe, ask me what you want me to cook, I'll go for it. So thanks again, have a great day. This is Saturday Meal Prep, bye.